The Eufy Security Touch has been my favorite smart lock to date, but it was missing one key feature. And Eufy Security has now fixed that by releasing a new model with built-in Wi-Fi. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. I do wanna give a thank you to Eufy. They sent out the product for this featured video. So this is the Eufy Security Secure Smart Lock with fingerprint identification and built-in Wi-Fi. Now this does use battery. Here it says it has a 365 day battery life, even when connected to Wi-Fi. It's got advanced fingerprint identification, rechargeable lithium battery, and it works with Amazon Assistant and Google Assistant. This will use the Eufy Security app where you can unlock and lock the device over Wi-Fi, set up your fingerprints, uh, you can see the battery life, and set up the different assistants. And over here on the back, very similar with what we saw on the previous one, um, but now it has the works with the different assistants, IP65 weatherproof, security that you can trust, uh, built to last 250,000 rounds of testing, your prints remain private. So this is all stored locally, nothing is shared with the cloud up to 360 day battery life, emergency unplug. So there's a micro USB port at the bottom. So if the power goes out, you can still use it with the plug and then it locks automatically. So it knows the difference between if it's opened or closed. And with that, there's also timers you can set where the door will automatically lock by itself. And here is everything that's included. So let's go ahead, see what's in the box. So here we have the user manual, comes with a sticker and some other support information. Now I like for the setup, everything is labeled so you know exactly where it goes. Here is the smart lock touch Wi-Fi version. And then here is the back plate where you can lock and unlock it. And then here are the rest of the steps. So let's go ahead and get this installed. And just like that, your smart lock is installed. Okay, it wasn't quite that quick, but Eufy says you can do this in under 10 minutes, and I definitely was able to. A few things to note, you can use this if you have a back set of two and three quarters, or two and three eighths. And for the deadbolt hole size out of the box, this works with two and one eighths inch, but if you remove this, you can use it with one and one half inch holes. Then you just insert the lock, and then we're going to put on the back plate, and then connect the wiring, and we're going to screw on the interior assembly. Then I checked to make sure I could lock and unlock it without any issues, and then we are ready to insert the battery. Um, so here, this battery is a 10,000 milliamp battery, should last 365 days. They did also include a micro USB cable so that you can charge it up. So they say it could take about six hours to charge, so let's go ahead and do that now. When you plug it in, it will turn red, and when it's charged, it has a blue light and we're ready to plug this into the lock. Just line up the pins and push it in. Welcome to UP Security. Please download the UP Security app to complete setup. Here I already have the app and an account created. So I'm just going to select add device and then I'm going to scroll down here and select the smart lock touch and Wi-Fi version. And then I'll just need to scan the QR code that's on the inside of the battery cover. And here it's asking if I need help setting it up. I've already finished that. So we're now going to head on to the next step to pair this. So here I'm just gonna hold down on the little button until it beeps. Ready to set up. Select I heard the prompt and next, and now it is connecting together over Bluetooth. Next we're going to calibrate the lock by locking it and then calibrating it. Calibration complete. And now we're going to connect it to Wi-Fi. So here it found my Wi-Fi network. I then just need to type in my password. Now we're gonna choose a location for the lock, which is the front door. And now we're going to add a pin code. So this could be four to eight digit pin. So this will be your access code for your account. This can be changed at any time. Now that it's set up, we can install the battery cover. Next, it's asking to set up a fingerprint. So let's go ahead and start enrollment. We just need to tap on the fingerprint sensor eight times until it registers our fingerprint. Here it's saying make sure you have a quality registration and your fingerprints are not dirty. So now we're gonna place it and remove it eight times to set up the fingerprint. All right, and we are done. So here we have the front door, it is unlocked. We then pull down to lock. Oh no, I'm locked out, fingerprint. and I can go in. 
Now that we have the Eufy Security Smart Lock Touch installed, let's talk about the different ways in which you can lock and unlock the device. First is by using your fingerprint. So in the app, you can add up to 100 different users and grant them access. You can also allow access always or at a certain schedule. Now, if you aren't doing it properly, it will let you know and it will help you guide you through the process so that you get a good fingerprint. Please press your finger on the sensor for a longer duration. Fingerprint setup complete. So then if the door is locked and you want to unlock it, you just simply press your fingerprint on the fingerprint sensor. Adios. Bye. And it will unlock the door. Now, if the door is unlocked and you press your fingerprint, it will lock the door. The second way is to use your pin code. So you can set a pin code that is four to eight digits, and then you are able to use the pin code to unlock or lock the door. Now, first you do need to wake up the keypad. So you just need to tap the keypad and then you type in your code and you press the enter button on the bottom right. And if the code is correct, it will let you in. If not, you'll hear some sounds like this. If you do mess up your code, you can push the cancel in the bottom left and type in your code again until it works. Sometimes I have had to do it a couple of times to get in because I did miss one of the numbers. But again, you would be able to use this to unlock it as well. And the third way to unlock and lock the door is to use the key. Now it comes with five different keys and these are pretty heavy duty keys. So you'll be able to lock and unlock this very easily that way. Now the fourth way is from the app. So right in the app, I have the option to pull down. It will then lock the door. And then if I want to unlock it, I pull down and it will unlock it. Very smooth and very easy to do. And to verify this does work without Bluetooth or Wi-Fi away from home, I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, head into the app. And I'm still able to use the lock. Now the fifth way to do this is through the different voice assistants. So first let's talk about how to set this up with Google Assistant and then we'll go into Amazon Assistant. For that, we're gonna head into the Google Home app. We're going to select the plus in the top left. Then we're going to select setup device and then we're going to select works with Google. Now I've already linked a Eufy device before so I'm actually going to unlink it and then I'm going to relink my account by searching for Eufy in the top right. And now I'm going to sign into my account. Now, once you sign in, it's going to ask for a two-factor authentication pin. This allows you to unlock the lock with Google Assistant by voice. So we need to add a six digit pin. It has now been linked to the Google Assistant. So if we head back to the home page and scroll all the way down to the bottom, here we have the linked to you section and here we see the front door. So I'm now gonna tap on that and I'm going to add it into my home and we're going to choose the front porch. And now on our front porch, here we have the front door. So when you tap on there, it doesn't let you lock or unlock. You do need to use the assistant or the Eufy security app for that. So now let's go ahead and unlock with voice. Hey Google. Unlock front door. Can I have your pin? 247000. Okay, requesting to unlock front door. And there the door unlocks. Lock the front door. Okay, requesting to lock front door. That's pretty quick. Now right here from the Nest Hub, if I swipe down, I then have the option to go to locks and then I can simply lock the door by tapping on the front door and I can select lock. And I can unlock it by tapping unlock and typing in my pin. And here under home control, I also have the option to tap and lock the door. It is a bit slow on updating its status. So what else can we do with Google Assistant? Well, I like to have a nightly routine where it turns off a bunch of lights and lock the door. So under routines, here we have the bedtime routine. So I'm gonna open this up. One of the actions is lock doors. So here I had this lock, but now let's change it to the front door. Select done and select save. So now I can have Google Assistant automatically lock the door when I activate my good night routine. Good night. And now I can sleep peacefully. And now for the Amazon Assistant, we're gonna head into the Amazon Alexa app. We're gonna select more, select skills and games, 
and search for Eufy. And here we have the Eufy security skill and we're going to enable that and link our account. Once we've linked our account, head to the devices tab and then we're going to tap on locks. And down here I have the new device, which is the front door. And right here, I do have the option to lock and unlock, but I do need to enable that first in the settings. So I can unlock by app. And then I also have the option to unlock by voice. And then we can add a voice code. And now those have been enabled. I actually changed the name to front porch. Um, here I have the option to lock it right from the app. Just like that. And then I can unlock it from the app. Now, same thing if I want to unlock with voice. Unlock front porch. What's your voice code for front porch? 2021. Unlocking. Hang on. The front porch is unlocked. Alexa, lock front porch. Locking. Hang on. The front porch is locked. And to manually control from the Echo Show, I don't see the lock showing up here. Now that we have the front porch here, I'm going to create a routine where it's automatically going to lock when I use good night. So I'm going to go under routines. And then here we have a routine called night night. And I'm just going to add. And then I'm going to go down here to smart home. All devices. And let's find front porch. So here's the front porch and it is going to lock. So there you can see it's locking. We could add it to the front or the back of the routine. Select back and then it's saved. Night, night. That's pretty responsive. Now that we've talked about locking and unlocking the smart lock, let's talk about different settings that this one comes with. Now let's manage access. So this is how you can add more people into your home. And when you do this, you have the option to give them a pin code as well as giving them each fingerprints. And they can have multiple fingerprints and you can have up to 100 users in this category. Then if we go back here, I have the option to see lock events. So this is really nice because I can see exactly when the door locked and unlocked and who locked or unlocked it. So you can see a list there of all the different events. The rest of the settings are found up here in the gear icon. The first thing we can do is adjust the name of the smart lock. So here under auto lock, we have the auto lock time. So when we turn this on, it gives us the option to set one second, 30 seconds, one minute, one and a half, two minutes, two and a half, or three minutes. So after you shut the door, it's automatically going to lock after that amount of time. So here, let's set the one second auto lock. Next, you have the option to schedule the auto lock. So this is nice because it will automatically lock the door at this set schedule. So I set mine for at 9 p.m. It's automatically going to lock. And then at 7 a.m., it's not going to unlock, but after you use the door, it's not going to relock until that night at 9 p.m. And one of my favorite things is hearing the chime so that I know the house is secured. Now on the Bluetooth model, I had no issues with the schedule, but right now I am not able to get the schedule to work. When the schedule's on, it is still auto locking at any time. I'll update in the comments if this gets fixed later. Next, we have one touch locking. So there's this button on the door where if you long press, it will lock. If your kids keep doing that, you can turn this setting off. Next, we have wrong try protection. So if somebody's trying to use your lock and puts on the wrong pin code or uses the wrong fingerprint after so many times, it will then go into lockdown time. You have tried too many times. Please try again later. So lockdown time prevents you from using the fingerprint or the pin code. You would need to use the key to unlock it or you would need to use the app to unlock it and you can set how long it's going to be in lockdown time until it then lets you use the pin code or the fingerprint again. Next, we have scramble passcode. So this allows you to enter up to four random digits before your code. I guess it depends on how many digits your code is. So you can do the random digits, then your code, and then it will unlock the door so that if somebody's watching, they wouldn't know what your real code is. Next, you have lock sound. So here we can turn the sound on and off, or we can adjust the volume. So here is low, here is medium, 
and here is high. Now, if you're listening really carefully, there is some tones in the background that would be nice to be toned down a little bit, but I like that you do have the option to adjust the volume. Next, we have notifications. So with notifications, you can choose to be notified every time the door is locked and unlocked, as well as you'll be notified on who is locking and unlocking it. And because this now has Wi-Fi, you can receive these notifications anywhere. So even if you're away from home, you will see that notification of who has locked or unlocked the door. Now, if they locked it manually, you'll only see a manual lock notification. And when you tap on a notification, it takes you into the Eufy app. Next, if your door is having any problems, you can come in here to calibration and go through the calibration steps again. Here, you can adjust the internet connection. So if you want to change the Wi-Fi, you can easily do that here. You do have the mounting guide. So if you need any help remounting it, you can always find it here in the app. And then here you have shared devices. So with shared devices, you can then invite others to have access to the lock. So if we add a device here, we then have the option to give admin privileges. So with admin privileges, they can adjust all of the settings, they can add more people, give access, and they can control the notifications. Now the notifications sync. So I shared this with my wife. If she turned off the notifications, it would turn those off for me as well. So if she wanted the notifications off and I wanted them on, she would need to go and mute the Eufy Security app notifications. And then next you have guest access. So if you wanna give access to somebody where they just download the app, they set up an account, and then they can unlock and lock the door, that is what guest access is. So then you would just select next, choose the lock you want to share, and then you're gonna send an invite to their email. Now once they download the Eufy Security app, and install it, they then have access to control it right from the app. And there you can see that they're also receiving those notifications and they can come down here and see um, who has locked and unlocked the door. Now in the settings, they don't have anything other than removing the device from their account. So they can't adjust who has access or anything or give themselves fingerprint access. So for each account on the admin phone, I then have the option to give them access to other devices, or I do have the option to delete. So I'm going to select delete right here, and then I'm going to confirm I want to remove them from my account. And now on their phone, they come home, try and unlock the door. And they no longer have access. So then if they go back, you can see the device has been removed from their account. And last we have about device. So this is where you can check to see if there is a firmware update available and so on. And so that is all the settings. Again, here at the very top is the battery life and the battery could last up to 12 months on one single charge. If the battery does die, at the bottom you have a micro USB port. So you can plug in a power brick into there and it will give you enough power to unlock the device. And then next to it, you have a button to restart the device and that will reboot it and connect it back to Wi-Fi. Now in comparison to the Eufy Security Touch Bluetooth Edition, in the settings, we have all of the same settings except for the Wi-Fi configuration and the notifications. So if you don't need the Wi-Fi, the voice assistant access and the notifications, this is a great lock to check out as well. And so that is everything the Eufy Security Smart Lock Touch can do now with built-in Wi-Fi. And I really love everything about this. If there was one thing I would like to see added, that would be the ability to work with smart things. So if you have everything in smart things, you can't add this in there. I don't know if that's a huge issue as it can work with Google Assistant and Amazon in the different routines, um, but that would be one thing I would like to see added. I like how the fingerprint works, the touchpad, the key. I love the key design, how it closes firmly so it's not just hanging there or um, loose. And then I really like the matte black finish. That's one of my wife's favorite parts about it is it has a really nice sleek design. One thing I also really like is the app itself. It's very elegant and easy to use. It's not confusing on where different settings are. You are able to find things very quickly. And using this with Wi-Fi and my voice assistant, I haven't had any issues. I love that I can now open the app and instantly lock and unlock it. With the Bluetooth one, even if I was close by, it took a second to link to the lock, but now that connection is always there because it's connected over Wi-Fi. 
I didn't have any issues when using Google Assistant. It was able to lock and unlock it as requested. I had some issues in the beginning with Amazon where it didn't understand my pin code, but after resetting my voice pin code, I was able to lock and unlock it. And then I was actually impressed by how quickly Amazon Assistant was able to interact with the smart lock. I do wanna mention one more time that I'm having an issue with the scheduling on auto lock. So even though I turn on the schedule, it still is auto locking at all times during the day, not during the schedule. So hopefully that can be fixed soon in an update. I'll leave a comment if that's changed. If you have any further questions about this Wi-Fi enabled smart lock, please let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in picking one up, Eufy has provided me with a referral link where if you're purchased through their website, they'll throw in an extra battery. So if you'd like to see any other smart locks I've talked about on this channel, you can check out the videos over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.